Hi there. For years I have made good use of many video tutorials and good stuff that I've found on YouTube. Well, for me today it's time to give back. Expect to find on my YouTube channel some new videos and tips that may be useful for you and new generations of graphic artists. Let's say you took this picture in the city but there's something that you just don't like. You want to replace an urban background by a more appropriate background. A landscape of Africa for example. How do you do it? First, you want to expand your work area. Go to View, Screen Mode, and select Full Screen Mode with Menu Bar. The screen will be fixed on your layout so you will work more comfortable. Now, go to your toolbar and click Quick Selection Tool but just make sure that the new selection button on the option bar is activated. Try to create manually in the picture a customized selection over the elements you want to preserve. You can do this by clicking the selection tool around the selection area in the picture. Also, you can adjust the diameter of the selection tool to get a more precise selection. Unselect small portions of the pictures you don't want by activating and using the subtract from selection on the options bar. Once you have selected specific portions of the image, Go to the Layers window and duplicate the layer by clicking the right button of your mouse over the activated layer. The Options window will show up, so select Duplicate Layer. You can name your duplicated layer, if needed, and then click OK to create it. Don't delete the bottom layer, because you may need the original picture later, just turn off the layer visibility. At this time, you can go to Edit, on the menu bar and select the option cut or use the shortcut command plus X key. This way you will cut your selection and keep it temporarily on your clipboard. Same way by going to edit on your menu bar again select paste or command plus V key to paste the selection as a new layer. Select the layer that is under it so the new background will be placed under your crop selection or layer 1. Then go to the menu bar and select place. The place window will display the directories so just find your new background, select it and click the option place. The new background will be inserted as an individual layer. Now just stretch the image so you can fit it into the canvas. Hit the place button to confirm your file placement. Lastly, reposition the front image by dragging it to the initial place. In this case, right in the bottom corner. There are more options to make the photo montage more realistic, but for now I suggest you to save your work as a JPEG file to convert the image into a single layer picture file. And then of course, save it again as a multi-layer Photoshop PSD format file, in case you want to make changes later. I hope this basic tutorial can help you to improve your artistic skills. I will give you more tips soon. Thanks for watching.